Hello, welcome to our studio today. I'm so glad you could join us. We've uh, been working on a little painting here. This is a special one for my little wife, Ruthie. She started collecting uh, shelves. So we just actually sketched this out and then just started painting it. But anyhow, today we're going to do a little more work on it. So come over to the board and I'll show you what we'll do. As we left last week, we put a few little highlights in here. <laughs> and I, I, I noticed it come up here to his little face. And when I put this highlight in, it looked more like a snaggle tooth than it did a highlight. So we're going to change that right now. Actually, I'm, I'm doing a little more blending on him here. Just now, what we'll probably do, being that this is a uh, cartoon-looking uh, character, we'll come back and outline him and put all the uh, detail back in him. And that is blue, in case you're wondering what color that is. But it's a real light blue. Anyhow, we're just doing a little highlighting. I'm going to do a little bit more. Then we're going to go back down and work on our uh, tray. I think I want his cheeks to be just a little bit redder. So I believe what I'll do right now is go in there and do that. Yeah, just about like that. Now we did not do his hair yet, so uh, we'll come back and do that later though, because I want to work down in here right now. Now I need to mix up some more, more color, and the color that I'm going to use uh, right here, these looks like carrots, so I'm going to make a little orange. In order to do that, take a little yellow, And the cadmium red. And I think that's getting some orange. Let's check that out and see if it's orange enough. Uh, let me do that with uh, my little brush here. Let me get a little another one here. I've got uh, hundreds of them here. Uh, That looks good, don't it? It's got color in it, though. Let's see if we can get that out. I think we've got most of it. Okay. Now, those are uh, pretty orange, aren't they? Uh-oh, I got something laying here. I don't know what it is cooking here. What does that look like? Let's make that a tomato, too. You want to? 
Now, in order to get a shadow, let's see if that'll do it. I'm going right underneath the bottom, putting a little shadow. Same way with the little tomatoes. That's a crooked little tomato back there. Okay, these are potatoes, and I'm not sure if we'll make them peeled or, <laughs> or have the peeling on them. Okay, we're going to do that uh, tomato, wasn't we? All right, that looks pretty good. Now, over here's our taters. Let's see, well, how should we make a potato? Let's see if we mix up a little. I, th I think I want a little lighter color, and then we can darken it up if we need to. So let's take a little white, a little of this color right here. And a lot of yellow. Let's see what that looks like. I'm not sure if I want them with the peeling on them. Or maybe both. Now I can do those with my little brush here. Rinse it out a little bit. Wow, that's a lot of red. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. We might not like that color. That's not too bad. I'm going to, of course, shadow it. I sort of like that color there. Okay, let's make a little shadow now. I may do the shadow with this. Let me get a little thinner for that. Okay, I'm just mixing it up with a little thinner and just rolling the brush. Let's see what that looks like. That's not dark enough. Whoops. Gonna kill my mall stick. All right. That color's not what I wanted, so let's let's go again. I think I want just a touch of brown and a little bit more here. And then I want a touch of this so it won't be too dark. Mm, not dark enough. I'm taking a little more Van Dyke Brown. I think we've about got it now.
I'm going to put just a touch of crimson in it. Okay, let's try that. That might do it. Now what I'm going to do there is make a shadow on the bottom with the little ridges on it. So like that. I'm not sure I'm dark enough yet. Let's keep going now, what do you say? I think I want it a touch darker. A little more Van Dyke Brown. That Van Dyke Brown is pretty strong. Let's see what that'll do. I believe that's it. Rinse him out. Pick up a little more color. Now, too, if you uh, thin it down quite a bit, it actually makes it a little lighter, too. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, we're getting there now, aren't we? Now, what, basically, if, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just actually making a little dark shadow under the bottom of them, and then I'm coming up and just putting a little line there. I'm trying to go in, go in behind these. In other words, just to separate them. But now, if I if I come back and outline it, all that it won't make any difference in him because they'll be separated. Just a few little lines. We'll just make that solid dark back in there. Yeah, I sort of like that. One more time. Yeah. I'm just trying to get them actually separated. If you know, make them look like they're laying on top of one another and in around one another. We might put a little of that on our turkey here, too. I, I'm going to have to come back and outline him. But. I'm going to see if I can uh, 
highlight that green just a little bit. I, I grabbed a little yellow there if you saw what I did, mixing it with the uh, green. That's not too bad. I'm highlighting the uh, lettuce or whatever that, that is, <laughs> just a little bit. And the carrots. And probably should highlight the tomatoes. A little bit. I believe I want those potatoes a little bit darker. So let's uh, take a little of that dark color there and see what happens. Maybe uh, a few of them like that. What do you think? Yeah, that looks better. I'm going to fill that in right around there. Then I'm going to highlight. So like that. I want a little more in there. Okay, now, the boots. I could make them brown or black, either one. Let me rinse this little brush out. Let's start out with brown and see how that looks. You want to? Now I can use that brown right there. With a little bit darker brown. Let's see what that looks like. You want to? If that works good. I'm going to set him up a little bit so I can get a little closer to it. All right.
that's not too bad. I'm putting a little, uh, actually a real thin coat here. I'm going to pick a little of this up. See, I'm picking a little of that up. Actually, that brings my detail of my shoelace back in there a little bit better. Don't look too bad that color, do they? Now, what I'm going to do though is come in. Let's take a little. I got some Payne's gray here, which is actually almost the same thing as black. Now that could be a little thicker if you wanted it to be, but it don't have to be. I'm going to try a little bit of this for my shadow. right under the bottom of the shoe. Now I might make that darker right in there. A little bit of shadow. Sort of like that. Let's see if I put a little highlight in that. Let's get a little of this color right here. This is some of the highlight blue. Now that blue, I'm not sure about the highlight on that sole. I can either make it real dark or I can make it real light. That's real light.
What do you think? Now we can really highlight it if we want to. Now, in order to highlight it, I'm trying to get a little fresh color. That's not the right color. Mm, maybe I can get a little bit right here. I think so. Let's see if it'll do it. I'm going to rinse this little brush out. Let's see if that'll do it. Not too bad. No, let's try that. That's uh, a little more. That's not too bad. Now, what I want to do. Got a few minutes here. Put the buttons on here. I'm pulling a little. If you notice that brought the plate out a little bit. A little bit darker under there. And I'm doing the same thing here. You see how much more that makes it stand out? I like that better. Now I could go up there and do a little bit more up there. I've got a couple of minutes. Let's do that. Uh, we've got to outline this thing. so it's, And there's a two ways we can do that. We can do it while it's wet. Or we can do it after it dries. You see what the, the difference that makes? You don't have to do it all that way, but you can if you want to. I'm going to put just a touch, a few other places. Now we can blend this in, but we don't have time right now to do it. Okay, we're going to have to leave you for today.
we've enjoyed being with you so much today. Hope you've enjoyed this picture. This is something a little different. And we hope that you're still interested in it and hope you're painting with us. But if you're not, I hope you just sit back and enjoy the painting. Anyhow, we'll see you next week now. Goodbye and God bless.